Well, the Donnelly Group in Vancouver is looking to expand out of pubs and into the cannabis industry. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more. And Tyler, a lot of people taking issue with the name of their cannabis venture. Yeah, they're branding it as Hobo Recreational Cannabis. And there's a lot of people that took issue over social media with regards to this name. For what it's worth, Jeff Donnelly, the owner of the company, he tells BIV that we'll have to agree to disagree. He likes the name. He thinks it's simply a reference to traveling workers, doesn't see it as offensive at all. That said, the plan is to launch nine stores across Canada. There's going to be five in the city of Vancouver, one in the suburbs, one in Colonia, uh, Kelowna, and one somewhere in Ontario. But the company isn't satisfied with that. They want to look towards other provinces. But the issue right now is just access to licenses from provincial authorities. Very, very hard to come by. But at the moment, Donnelly Group owns about uh, 24 establishments across the country. So cannabis just seems to be the next logical step for a company like this. All right, we shall see if they stick with that name. Uh, now, sticking with the pot topic here, I understand Health Canada has put out a warning to some uh, pot uh, websites, basically saying that they're too accessible to youth. Yeah, exactly. Right now, most of these websites from licensed producers, they just require that users attest to their age and some sort of pop-up window before visiting. Now, cannabis lawyer Harrison Jordan, he says that there have been previous concerns that these methods wouldn't actually meet Health Canada standards, but the producers have yet to do anything to really change. Now, he believes that so-called KYC or Know Your Client software is really the only way to ensure that youths are not visiting these websites. However, it uses historical records like mobile phone bills or utility bills to identify and verify users' identities. I think that's very, very unlikely that most consumers are going to go through those many hoops just to access a website. So it's a very complicated process for businesses right now. No obvious solution. But the big problem is, is that for non-compliance with regards to the Cannabis Act, these businesses could be facing hefty fines. Mm. Even jail time is in the cards at this point. Well, I'm sure they'll try and find a solution to avoid those fines. I assume so, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, thanks so much. Thank you, Sonia.